Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Brianne and you are here with Diary of a Homemaker uh, where we're about homemaking, thrifting, and sustainable living. So part of the sustainable living is um, buying second hand and if you missed part one, um, I'll make sure to link that here or here and that's part one of this haul. I ended up breaking it up into two parts. So the first part was gonna be like home goods and housewares and then part two is actually clothing and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you what I got. So the first thing I got are going to be these little snow boots. So I found these at the thrift store that I frequent often. I go like once a week, it's my favorite favorite. Um, and they are really in like brand new condition. I don't know, it looks like they've been worn like maybe once, there's absolutely no wear on them but yeah i think i paid two dollars for these and these are going to be great to have this winter we never know what we're going to get when it comes to winter so it could be a very mild winter or we could have an ice storm we never know but i did want to go ahead and get these just to have in case if we if we don't even have snow it's still nice to have warm boots and these are going to be great so first thing i got my dining room, we're totally empty now. So my table's gone, my chair's gone. So I'm working off our hamper. <laughs> so um, the second thing I got is going to be this jacket. So this is actually for me. Um, I've been looking for, here, I'll show you. I've been looking for like a nice water resistant jacket and I ended up getting this. And I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it but it wasn't more than just a couple dollars. So really nice jacket, and that's for me. I really transitioned over to more of a capsule style wardrobe, and if you aren't familiar with that, it's basically where you have a bunch, uh, or not very many, I should say, not very many pieces, but everything kind of can mix and match together, and you can have many, many outfits with a minimal wardrobe. So. A black jacket is something I was looking for just to add to that, and now I have that. So I got that. The next thing I got are going to be these shorts, and these are actually going to be for next year. They're a size too big, but these are 100% cotton, which is why I wanted to buy them. I've mentioned before that we are trying to transition to more. Um, natural fibers in our home, um, natural natural living as a whole, but natural fibers specifically for our clothing. Of course, I don't think that we'll ever get to a point in time that we're completely switched over to natural fibers, but switching out things like shorts and denim are things that we can do to make little steps towards that. So I got these, these were very nice, and I think I paid a dollar for these. The next thing I got are these pants, and these are for our youngest. Um, again, I believe these are 100% cotton. Okay, so 98% cotton and then 2% spandex, so mostly cotton, but these are these are really nice pants, and um, they are just like nice olive green color. So I did get these, and again, I think I actually I think I paid two dollars for these these were i got these at a garage sale and then from that same garage sale i actually got these snow pants which is amazing because they're going to go perfectly with the boots and they are completely lined and then in the knees i'll show you they are like reinforced with this like what kind of material is this? Like a, um, like the material that a Carhartt coat is made out of. That's what this is on the knees. So the, I think these are going to be really good to have, and they are going to stand the test of time because of the reinforced knees, and I love that. The next thing I got are going to be these Wrangler denim jeans, and again, these are going to be for next year, but. I don't have a problem buying things out of season or buying things ahead of a season because they're going to grow into it. Um, clothing 
kids grow so fast and clothing is not cheap and if I can buy ahead of time to save a few dollars, I love that. So I did get these and again, these are 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So not 100% cotton, but, um, but mostly. And these are in really, really good condition. Barely even worn, you can't even tell they've been worn. So I love that. The next thing I got is going to be, and this is from that same, the second, those, those jeans and the shorts were from one yard sale and this is from that same yard sale. So my husband has to wear nicer clothes for his job. Not like super nice, not like suits and dress shoes nice, except on occasion. But um, he does have to have some like nicer clothing, not t-shirts for his job. So I got him this, and this still have the tags on it. I paid a dollar for this. It's this really nice pattern. I love this pattern, and blue looks really good on him. So it's this Haggard brand shirt, and the material is, this one is 65% polyester and then 35% cotton but it was brand new and I paid a dollar for it and it's perfect for now. It's like fall here. So I love, love, love this one. And let me go grab one more thing and then I'm gonna show you my favorite thing from, from ever. So hold on just one sec. Okay, so this, this item is not technically clothing, but it is fabric. So I could not believe I found this. I found four matching curtain panels and these are gonna go in our dining room. So I had seen a tip online, actually I think it was on TikTok, um, that you, if you want to have more luxurious looking curtains, then you're supposed to use two panels on each, like each side of a curtain. So this is perfect because there's four and they, they look very much like linen. They're not linen, but I don't know if you can see the pattern, but these are Target brand, they're Threshold brand. So these were probably like, not super expensive, but curtains are expensive in general. So these were not cheap um, originally. So they're just plain white curtains. But I remember how I got those pleating hooks. I'm gonna do that with these. I'm going to go ahead and sew. I need to go to the fabric store, the local fabric store to see if they have the um, pleating tape. And I'm just going to add the pleating tape on the back here. You just add it right along this, this line and then you add the hooks and then you have pleated curtains. So I got four of these panels and I paid a dollar each for these panels. So $4 for four curtains, which is honestly amazing. So, the last thing I got, and this is my favorite thing, I can't believe I found this. I've been looking for a denim jacket probably for a year and a half. I've actually found one at um, a yard sale in the biggest city next to us, but it was, it was actually too big and it just, it wasn't my size. So, I found a denim jacket. I am still looking for a plain denim jacket, but this one I thought would be really fun to just throw on with a t-shirt. Actually, like this t-shirt I have on right now would be perfect, um, and some, some jeans, and kind of more like a casual look. Again, I'm, I'm, I have a capsule wardrobe, so I don't want a million different things in my closet. I'm just trying to be super particular on the clothing that I bring in and the clothing that I wear and how many pieces, because I know you can probably relate. You guys have so many clothes in the back of your closet that you will wear one day or will fit into one day. And in the process of moving, I ended up getting rid of a lot of things that I just can't use. And there's really no sense of holding on to those if I can't use them. So back to the jacket. This is the jacket. So this is 100% cotton. It's from Hard Rock Cafe in Las Vegas. And it has a little bit of staining. I don't care. It's, 
I don't care. Um, and I'll show you. And I plan on, well, I bet this saves up, but look at this. I love it. So I have this now. I can wear this fall and it's honestly perfect. So I will be looking for another one, but this is going to do for now. So that is all I have for you today. I didn't want to add all of this in with the first haul just because I felt like it was going to be too much and the video was going to be way too long. So I'm glad I could share it today. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to please consider subscribing um, or liking or sharing the video. It really helps push my videos out to people, people like you, people that like old stuff, thrifted stuff, home projects, things like that. So thanks for joining me and I will see you guys next week. Bye.